Welcome to lesson one, the arithmetic sequence. We're going to divide this lesson into three parts. The arithmetic sequence, arithmetic mean, and the arithmetic series. Let's start with the arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is also known as the arithmetic progression. Take a look at this pattern. 4, 11, 18, 25. So they have common number, which is you're going to add that number, then you will get the next term. In this case, we can get that fixed number by subtracting the previous term or the preceding term to the previous term. 11 minus 4, that is 7. 18 minus 11, 7. 25 minus 18, that is 7. And this fixed number is known as the common difference. And that is denoted by the symbol small letter D. And our formula for that is A2 minus A1. Or it can be A3 minus A2, A4 minus A3, or A5 minus A4. What is A1, A2, A3? A1 is denoted by the, our first term. A2 will be our second term. A3 will be the third term. And A4 will be the fourth term. What if your teacher asks you, what is the 11th term? 11th term of the arithmetic sequence. And now I will introduce to you the first formula in this sequence. We have the AN formula. AN is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 D. We're in AN denoted as the last term. A1 is the first term. N is the last term, n term, and d is the common difference. In this case, we're going to find the 11 term. So that is the a11. Substitute the formula, a1, our a1 is 4, plus n, n term 11, minus 1, times d. D is 7. So we can also substitute D, which is 7. 4 plus 11 minus 1, that is 10, times 7. 4 plus 10 times 7, that is 70. And this is 74. You can check your answer in manual way by adding 7. And find the 11th term. 25 plus 11. 25 plus 11, that is 32. Next, 32 plus 7. I'm sorry, 25 plus 7, that is 32. 32 plus 7, that is 39. 39 plus 7, 46. 46 plus 7. 53, right? Next, 57, uh, 53 plus 7, that is 60. Next, 60 plus 7, 64. Then, I'm uh, sorry, 67. And last, 67 plus 7, 70. And that is our 11th term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which is the same in our formula. So we have now two different formulas. 
the common difference and the nth term formula an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. That is arithmetic sequence. And now let us proceed to arithmetic means. Arithmetic means are found between the two extremes in our arithmetic sequence. Let's try to solve example number one. Find an arithmetic mean between 5 and 19. First, let us illustrate. A1 will, will be 5. We're going to find the mean, then 19. We can use this method. Since mean is the average, so we can just add the two number. So this will be A1, A2, and A3. To find A2, we can simply add A1 plus A3 divided by 2. 5 plus 19 divided by 2. 5 plus 19, that is 24, over 2, and this will become 12. Now let us check using our formula. Let us find the common difference. Since we have a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 d. A n is 19. So substitute 19 is equal to a1, which is 5, plus n, that is 3, minus 1, we're going to find d. Transpose 5, that is 19 minus 5, is equal to 3 minus 1, that is 2d. 19 minus 5, 14, is equal to 2d. Divided by 2, 7 is equal to d. So since the common difference is 7, so we can add 5 plus 7, and this is 12. 12 plus 7, 19. Second example. Insert four arithmetic means between 3 and 12. Illustrate. A1 will be 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 12. This will be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. Find the common difference. An is equal to A1 plus N minus 1B. An is 12, substitute. A1 is 3, plus N is 6. The given is 6 minus 1. Transpose 12 minus 3 is equal to 6 minus 1, that is 5D. 12 minus 3, that is 9, is equal to 5D. To find D, divide by 5. D is 9 over. Now, to find the preceding term, we need to, to add 9 over 5 plus 3. So, to find A2, 3 plus the common difference, 9 over 5. Find the LCD, 3 times 5, 15 plus 9, 24. So, 24 over 5. A3, 24 over 5 plus the common difference, 9 over 5. 24 plus 9, 33 over 5. Next, A4. 33 over 5 plus 9 over 5. 33 plus 9. 33 plus 9 is 42. 
over 5. And A5, 42 over 5 plus 9 over 5. That is 51 over 5. Okay. This is now our four terms. And you can write in our, or you can write your final answer. So that is the arithmetic means. And now let us proceed to our last part, the arithmetic series. Maybe you are familiar with this question. What is the sum of the first 100 counting numbers? That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the ellipse sign, 98, plus 99, plus 100. Okay? Notice the problem. Find the sum. To find this, we need to add the first term plus the last term. Notice that it has a total of 101. Next, Second term to the second to the last term, 2 plus 99, that is 101. Next, third term to the third to the last, that is 101. So notice that 101 times how many pairs do we have? 50. And that is 50, 50. So in this method came our SN formula or the arithmetic sequence, uh, the arithmetic series denoted by the formula SN, which is A1, the first term, plus AN divided by 2 times the number of terms. Now let us find the sum of the first 150 counting numbers. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the ellipse sign plus 148 plus 149 plus 150. We have Following the formula, we have the SN. Oh, since we're looking for the 150 terms, so we have S150 is equal to A1, which is 1, plus AN, the last term is 150, divided by 2, times number of terms, we have 150. 150 plus 1, that is 151, times use cancellation method. 150 divided by 2, that is 75. To find the product, 151 times 75. Let us multiply. 151 times 75. 5 times 1, 5. 5 times 5, 25. Carry 2. 5 times 1, 5 plus 2, 7. Then 7 times 1, 7. 7 times 5, 35. Carry 3, 10. So this is add 5, 12, carry 1, 3, carry 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 3, 2, 5. So if you're going to add 1 up to 150, this sum is 11,325. That ends our arithmetic series. So we are done in your lesson one. Under the arithmetic sequence, we have the formula for the common difference, that is A2 minus A1. And for finding the terms, that is AN is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference. And for the arithmetic mean, that is A1 plus A3 divided by 2. 
And for the arithmetic series, the SN, that is A1 plus AN divided by 2 times the number of terms, N. So those are the different formulas that we're going to use. Now let us check your understanding. Let's try some different examples from your lesson one. Number one, what is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 5, 8, 11, 14? So the formula is D is equal to A2 minus A1. A1, A2. So A2 is 8 minus A1 is 5. The difference is 3. So the common difference is 3. And now second example. What is the 19th term of the sequence? 3, 10, 17, 24, 31. Let us use the formula. A n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 times D. We're going to find A19. So A1 is 3 plus n minus 1. Our n is 19 minus 1 times D. What is D? A2 minus A1, that is 7. 3 plus 19 minus 1, 18 times 7. 3 plus 18 times 7. 8 times 7, 56, carry 5, 7 times 1, 7 plus 5, 12. So 3 plus 126, the sum is 129. So A19 is 129. Insert 3 arithmetic means between negative 18 and Four. So first, let us illustrate. Negative 18, then 3 arithmetic means. 1, 2, 3, then 4. That means this will be A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. We're going to find A2 to A4. Let us find the common difference. To find that, let us use the formula for the sequence. An is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 D. Our last term is 4. Is equal to, our first term is negative 18. Plus, N is, we have 5 for the last term. Minus 1 times the common difference. Transpose negative 18, that will give us 4 plus 18 is equal to 5 minus 1, 4 times D. 4 plus 18, that is 22, is equal to 4D. Now, divide by 4. 4, then D is equal to 11 over 2. So, D is 11 over 2. Medyo tricky siya. So, i-add natin dito. So, A2 is equal to negative 18 plus 11 over 2. Sagot natin. Copy denominator. Then, 2 times negative 18, negative 36 plus 11. Negative 36 plus 11, that is negative 25 over 2. So, ang A2 natin is negative 25 over 2. A3 natin, negative 25 over 2 plus 11 over 2. So, copy, they have similar fraction or the same denominator to negative 25 plus 11. That is negative 14. Divisible, 
Yes, so that is negative 7. Now next, A4. Negative 7 plus 11 over 2. So that is 2. 2 times negative 7. That is negative 14 plus 11. Now negative 11. Negative 14 plus 11. This is negative 3 over 2. And now our A4. So our A2 is negative 25 over 2. A3 is negative 7. And A4, negative 3 over 2. That ends our first lesson. I will attach some exercises at the end of the video and you can try those questions and check your understanding. Thank you. Don't forget to like, follow, comment, share, and subscribe Senior Pablo TV.